Guys, today we're going to take a look at the new cards released in Lyrical Monastery 2. And then we're going to take a look at some uh, Japanese tournament results, which is basically one tournament result from uh, from the weekend. Because if you guys didn't know, I didn't make a video yesterday because I was too busy playing Yu-Gi-Oh! But because even though I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh! that doesn't mean uh, nothing went on. But there's only one, so kind of didn't warrant one video. So let's just kind of meld all today. Because luckily, today's card reveals are pretty fast. But they're not bad. They're not bad. They're pretty good looking. So we have Cutie Topic Rabina here, right? This is your starter for your new ride line. Uh, she looks like there's a uh, she's a bunny girl, right? Looks like there's a uh, there's Vieres from FF14, um, except with a school outfit. But I guess in FF14 you can kind of just wear school outfits anyway, so it's basically the same thing. So this is pretty much FF14. The best, the critically acclaimed MMO RPG, blah blah blah. blah. Uh, but yeah, nice. Anyway. We have this grade one in the right line. We've got Snipey Eiffel Ranger. So act Vanguard Circle, Regard Circle, once per turn. Soul Blast 1, discard a card from your hand and draw a card. And the keyword that we get now is called Powerful, right? Uh, continuous Vanguard Circle. If your soul has no cards, when you would write and attract Peach Teens from a ride deck, you can write it without discarding a card from your hand. So it's kind of a nice nice effect. It's kind of plussing because you're not discarding for your ride line, which is nice. Uh, the set, first one's just like a, like a hand filter, but the key point is you Soul Blast 1, so you're going to power off that powerful ability. Uh, otherwise, you know, you don't really have to Soul Blast from a Grade 1. Come on, I'm not calling anything out a Grade 1, right? Yeah. Not bad, not bad. Anyway, let's look at the grade two. We got Attract Peach Teens. Uh, continuous Vanguard Circle and Regard Circle. During the battle, this unit attacks. This unit gets power plus 2,000. So, no, eh, it's okay, right? Power 2k with an AK boost is 20k power. So, uh, hits, hits, a, hits a nice number, but you're already a Vanguard anyway. So, you're pretty much hitting powers most of the time. Uh, but then the, the powerful effect is Continue Vanguard Circle. If your soul has no cards, when you would write a Coming Beauty uh, Herminia, from your ride deck, you can ride without discarding a card from hand. So yeah, okay, that's like the plus as well, you don't discard. The, the problem is here, this doesn't have a Soul Blast effect, so you're gonna need an extra card that Soul Blasts, right? An extra card that Soul Blasts. Um, so, I guess, uh, I guess, no, actually, you just run more, more Larangers. You have to run more Larangers, right? Uh, to get that Soul Blast. So that's kind of, okay, that's, that's nice. It's that's, that's not the best, but it could be worse. And then lastly, we've got uh, Coming Beauty Herminia. Act Vanguard Circle, cast Counter Blast 1, and this unit gets power plus 5,000 until the end of turn. And then the powerful effect is Auto Vanguard Circle. At the end of the battle that this unit attacked, if the total number of cards in your soul and face up in your damage zone is zero, uh, cost, discard a card from your hand, choose one of your rear guards with a powerful ability and stand it. Reduce it the next time you Counter Blast this turn by one. So, uh, just kind of pretty straightforward effect. Um, has an extra cost, uh, to, has an extra cost to the powerful ability. You have to have zero cards, face up cards in the damage zone, um, which is a bit, eh, it's a bit weird. It's a bit, it's a bit yikes. I'm gonna be using a lot of your uh, CB, all right? Uh, kind of like Ultimal and V, uh, and then you kind of get a confirmed fourth attack. So that's cool. Uh, you just have to pick something with a powerful ability, all right? Um, but then the the first effect to kind of make it easier to hit that zero CB in your damage zone uh, is just, it's not restricted to one. So you can literally just counter blast uh, for days, or at least until you're running out of counter blast, just to gain power in the Vanguard Circle. Not a great, it's not exactly a great investment in counter blast, but you gotta do what you gotta do, right? You gotta get, this is how you get powerful by uh, wasting counter blast. And yeah, but speaking of powerful, wow, this, this is what she looks like in her LSR form. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's not bad. It's actually not bad. Um, and the the theme, the theme for the LSRs for this set, this set is is going on dates. I think it's, it's a dating theme. So just like in a just like in a, in a dating simulator, but except now you get to get to bring it with you in your deck. All right. Anyway, we also have one other card uh, that kind of supports the theme. This is Challenge to Self, Trudy. Uh, auto when this card is discarded from your deck during, during your hand. Uh, no, no, it's, okay, I, I think this entire effect is wrong, so I'll translate it for you. This is the, the card name is Bathing Fountain uh, Trace, and the, the powerful effect is Auto Regard Circle. Uh, when this unit attacks a Vanguard, uh, if your soul is zero, zero cards, you can counterblast one, and then for the battle, this unit gets the following effect, which is Regard Circle Auto. 
when this unit attack hits, you can draw one. And then you also give one of your other units plus 5,000 power. So uh, not bad. She has that powerful effect. She can stand it with Herminia. And then she does have to pay a CB to get that on hit draw one effect again. Uh, not exactly the best, right? I'm pretty sure we can probably we can probably hope to find better cards in this. I mean, who really wants to to stand a, a girl that is swimming in the fountain, right? I guess she's a mermaid, so that kind of half makes sense. But why not a pool? Why not a a pond or a lake, something like that? This is like it's like in Batman Begins when they're swimming in the fountain there. But yeah. It's a good movie, you should watch it. Right. Anyway, uh, moving on to deck lists. Yeah, so here we have some V stuff. There was a V tournament that happened, I think in Kyoto, and my internet is just loading like very slow. Here you can see that a prism deck, I think came first. And um, interesting, it seems like Japan is embracing the prisms. And basically it's kind of similar to before, except this guy's running Pearl Sisters. And we usually see this in Highlander, but there is no Highlander. A uh, three neck tyrant, and you, he's running the new gray two, uh, Seria, and it's just—I mean, it's, it's pretty good, right? It's just free, free low hand tutor, and it gets pal for no reason. Um, not bad. No aquas here, no aquas, but who needs aqua when your card quality is already so good? Right, it's already so good. So yeah, cool, nice. Then I think second place was uh oh. Yeah, it's loading screen. But yeah, it's actually prisms. So this one is just the straight old old prisms. It looks like you know you got the Aqua, the Lizalot, the Ellie, the, the Trinity of Power. When it comes to Bermuda Triangle, Ellie's prism, and then the three Nectaria. So nothing really changed with this build. Why change perfection, or in this case, uh, prism fiction? Because it's just we've we've had this format for over a year, right? We're getting pretty bored of it. But finally, but Japan's not right because I, I guess. Uh, they jumped off the melody train. Uh, the next in third place, I think, we have another loading screen. Wow, this is pain. But we have Gabriel. Uh, basically, no changes from before. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just no changes. It's actually, no changes. Um, so I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. And then lastly, in fourth place, guess what? We have loading screen. Drum roll. Dude, this is... Yeah, we have Maelstrom. Okay, Maelstrom. All right. Uh, this is reverse Maelstrom. It's like kind of the old Maelstrom, except they replace some, I think, some glory slots for, Mael for reverse Maelstrom. Um, is that a good choice? I don't know. I think glory is pretty good. I think actually glory is pretty good. Uh, especially when you're running fronts. You're running eight fronts, right? That's, that's kind of like, you know, glory would just make all these attacks unblockable. But instead, now they'd be able to be blocked with reverse. Uh, but I guess you get a field wipe. Uh, no, I think normally, though, you'd rather run crits with reverse, right? Because you have that extra drive pressure. Um, and then you have even more drives. And then you have extra crit pressure as well. So, so I feel like... I feel like you want to run crits when you're stacking so much reverse maelstrom, you know? But that's just me. I don't even own Pursuit Assault. What would I know? Right, I had to, yeah, I had to, even though he's not running for shoes, I had to throw it in, right, until they finally release it for us foreigners, yeah. Uh, but then I did dig up another result in the top eight. Uh, we had, a, not this one, we had another result in the top eight. It was Himiko Reverse, right, it's pretty good. Um, this, this guy died in top eight, he went 3-1 in Swiss, and um, yeah, it's, it's not bad. I think I've tested, I tested this list as well, it's quite fun. Um, he beat GN Robos, so Dimension Police, beat Revengers, uh, lost to Pacifica, weird, right, weird, uh, then beat Prisms going second, and then lost to Prisms in the top cup. But yeah, give this a try, I think Himiko is not as bad as people think it is, um, it, sh it, it might be good, right, it might be good, uh, but so far it feels like V really hasn't changed, as expected, right, a lot of us expected that, so yeah, maybe we need to have a chat on hitting some things in V. And maybe we'll do that chat tomorrow. You know, I'll do a video on what we should hit in V. And uh, so yeah, stay tuned for that, right? Uh, but apart from that, that was a very quick, quick, uh, quick stream, quick info, quick reveals, uh, and some very nice, nice looking cards, right? Nice looking cards. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the talk. And uh, yeah, catch you guys then. Bye. Oh, no.